name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the coming of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with the Spirit. Dear friends in Christ, to celebrate the sacred mysteries worthily, let us call to mind our sins. Almighty God, I you, my brothers and sisters, that I have seen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what through my fault, through my fault, through my fault. to pray for me to the Lord our God. May your mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Pour your grace into our hearts, we pray we may be constantly drawn away from our own desires and obey by your own gifts the heavenly station you give us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. from the book of the prophet Hosea. Come, let us turn to the Lord, for he has turned that he may heal us. He has stricken and he will bind us all. After two days, he will revive us. On the third day, he will raise us, that we may live before him. Let us know. Let us press on to know the Lord. He is going forth as sure as the dawn. He will come to us as the showers, as the spring rains, and water the earth. What shall I do with you, O Ephraim? What shall I do with you, O Judah? Your love is like a morning cloud like the dew that goes early away. Therefore, I have hewn them by the prophets. I have slain them by the words of your mouth. And my judgment goes forth as the light. For I desire mercy and not sacrifice, the knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. The word of the Lord. I desire mercy and not sacrifice. 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 Oh 
mercy on me, O God. According to your merciful love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgression, wash me completely from my iniquity. According to Luke. At first time, Jesus told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank you that I'm not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, I give thight, of all that I get. But the tax collector standing far off 
would not even lift up his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but he who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. And so Jesus told his disciples this parable. And of course, this parable of Jesus focused on those who trusted in themselves that they were what? Righteous and despised others. And then he gave us the story of the two men who went to the temple to pray. One a Pharisee and one who a tax collector. And we could see the disposition of this Pharisee who went to the temple to pray. It was a disposition of what? Of self what? Self-righteousness. Listen to the way he prayed. God, I thank you that I'm not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I get. This was a man who, other than praying to God, were told that what? He was praying with who? With himself. He ended up showcasing his self-righteousness before God. He ended up what? Praising himself while what? While judging and what? And condemning others. Dear friends in Christ, when we are prayer before God, when we come before God in prayer, the focus should not be on ourselves. It should be on who? On God. We must learn to acknowledge our nothingness before God. We must learn to what? Not to dwell on the truth that we do, but of course, on our shortcomings, asking God to reveal us and to help us to what? To be better version of ourselves. And we see that disposition from the um, task collector in his own approach before God. First, he humbled himself. He acknowledged his sinfulness. Of course, he was a man who came to God with a humble and what? And broken heart. As we heard in the psalm. He said, within his breast, God be merciful to me, a sinner. And Jesus will say that this man, with the way he prayed, he went home more what? More justified than the Pharisee. My brothers and sisters, how do we pray? How do we pray? And how do we look at one another? Most times, we judge others. Most times, we feel we are the righteous, we are the holy ones. And any other person is what? It's not holy. Most times, they friends in Christ. The standard we use in judging ourselves or in judging others is not the same standard that we use in what? In judging ourselves. When judging others, we apply what? Strict standards. We do not give people any room for change or any room for what? For improvement. But when it comes to ourselves, we try to what? To be lenient in judging ourselves. Most times, we feel that what? The sin we commit 
is different from what? From the sin that others commit. Oh, we feel me. I sin differently, and so my own is not as what? As lost as the other one. For their friends in Christ, before God, all of us are what? As sinners and are what? And are falling short of the glory of God. Ours should be like that of the Pharisee, I mean, the past collector, who acknowledged his sin before God and what? And asked God for mercy. In the Our Father, the pattern of our prayer, Jesus asked us to what? In the prayer, he told us what? To what? To say what? And forgive us our what? Our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. May God give us the disposition of the tax collector who acknowledged his sins before God. And of course, it is those who humble themselves that God reward with grace. It is God who, it is those who come to God in their nothingness that God can be able to what? To fill and to be filled with his grace. May God bless us and answer us whenever we come to him as sinners through Christ our Lord. Sacrifice on yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands and the peace and the glory of his name. Look with favor, we pray, Lord, on the offerings we dedicate. O oh God, by whose grace it is, it comes to pass that we may approach your mysteries with minds made pure. Grant, we pray, that in reverently handing them on, we may offer you fitting homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's your right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord the father almighty and eternal god for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks humble our sinful pride 
contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as we one voice of praise we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirits upon the temple and the two born, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which should be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by our cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Ignatius our Bishop, Anselm our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we bless Joseph as spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, who may marry to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And the Savior's command informed by divine stitching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of the church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your faith.
We behold the Lamb of God. We behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. May we truly repair, O oh merciful God, these holy gifts by which you ceaselessly nourish us. And may we always partake of them with abundant faith in our heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Hold out to your faithful people, Lord, the right hand of heavenly assistance, that they may seek you with all their heart and merit the granting of what they ask through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. TV.